the decision has been made to cancel school today. I'm pretty sure my kids are in complete agreement on that. Well, what do you think about having a snow day today? You're sad that our snow day is over? I'm super sad. You do realize you get to make up your snow day sometime during one of your scheduled school vacation days, right? Due to the extremely cold temperatures, hazardous driving conditions, and the expectation of continued snow, as of 6.15 a.m., the decision has been made to cancel school today. I know it doesn't look like much out there, but it is cold and windy and very icy, so I believe the decision to call it a snow day was the correct one. I'm pretty sure my kids are in complete agreement on that. Well, with the unexpected relaxed start to our morning, I figured we could fix a nice breakfast for everyone. French toast, that's the plan. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. having a snow day today. Yay! Yay! Ella was sad at the prospect that they might be canceling school. This storm that came in was forecasted and they were kind of put on alert already ahead of time that there was a possibility that school would be canceled because this was anticipated. So Ella was disappointed to know that it was going to be a snow day today. You wanted to go to school, didn't you? Then I didn't want to go to school on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, just Monday. You just wanted Monday? But the consensus with everyone else is Monday. you're kind of happy about it. <laughs> the last, oh, yeah. The last snow day that I remember wasn't, it was, it was like even a snow third day. grade. It was just no. a two hour delay. No, it was third grade it was the last full closure. So you were like my age? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. You know it's serious if they're gonna d make the decision to cancel school because they don't do it very often. Which works out nice for you because you had more time to do homework and you have to work this evening. Mm -hmm. The problem for you though is it also canceled extracurricular activities. Which means basketball. Basketball. Yeah, Spencer. What about my basketball? Um, well, that's not school related. <laughs> I don't know if you have a basketball game today, but Spencer had his, they were starting their region tournament today. Yeah, but it got canceled. So they'll probably pick it up tomorrow. And if you win tomorrow's game, you'll probably play Wednesday and Thursday straight. So if we win. If you win. Yeah. It's a single elimination I'm tournament. Hungry, let's eat. All right, let's say a prayer and you guys can eat. I want to say. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. You're yeah, welcome. Thanks for it. Jason and I already had our breakfast <laughs> this morning. We had our protein shake, so, so you guys get French toast. I get to say the prayer. All right, go ahead. Where's the whipped cream? We can bring some in if you want it. You don't need whipped cream. because everybody's kind of doing their own thing today. I was ready to eat some lunch now, so I'm having a little bit of leftovers, some fish and quinoa and some vegetables. And then probably when everyone starts telling me that they're starving, I will prepare some lunch for all of them. But they ate breakfast a little later than me, so that's why I'm doing this right now. And we've got Ella in on my bed watching the BFG and Brevin downstairs watching the commuter and Spencer and Garrett in the front room playing 
Agario together on their phones. So it's just kind of a lazy day, but I'm trying to make it somewhat productive and get some reading and planning and a little bit of home business work stuff done as well. I'm hoping to get to that. So for dinner tonight, I want to do some chicken pot pie and I have this great recipe. What I like to do with my chicken pot pie is I have this jumbo cupcake muffin tin that has six tins, which is perfect for our family because there are six of us. And so I just put the crust inside those and everyone has a personal chicken pot pie. And that's what we're gonna do for dinner and with all of the vegetables and chicken mixed in, you have everything you need essentially. And so with a side of fruit salad or something like that, we're good to go. come to an end our yeah. snow day <laughs> and we are going to do something remotely academic I'm gonna go over Garrett's spelling words with him we're gonna study the first five we do five every night you have a total of 20 each test correct mm -hmm. so that he'll be ready by Friday usually Jason's the one who goes over this with him but Jason's cutting his hair right now I'm gonna help Garrett with that you're sad that our snow day is over? I'm super sad. You do realize you get to make up your snow day sometime during one of your scheduled school vacation days, right? Whatever, it means a short yeah. week this week. Yeah, but it's kind of nice having a short week. I feel spoiled. We've had like four in a row. We've had like a ton of short weeks. I'm all for a four day work week, school week. Me too. Yes. <laughs> we should petition for that. We're gonna wrap up, say goodnight to everyone, or goodbye. Good night, bye. Bye, we'll bye. see you later. Bye.